Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to show you how to turn any song into a ringtone for your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch using iTunes. Now this will work for both Windows and Mac, so I'll show you exactly how to do it for both. What you want to do first is download iTunes if you don't have it, so you want to go to apple.com slash iTunes, click download iTunes up here, and then download it right here. Once you've downloaded it, what you want to do is open it up. So we'll just find the file or the section, the area that it's in, whether using Windows or Mac, locate it, open it up. And what you want to do is select the music tab here. And you can see I already have a lot of music in my music section. Make sure that music, my music is selected up top as well. But for this example, we'll go ahead and drag a separate song. So what you would do is just locate any song that you might have that you want to turn into a ringtone. I'll take this Stoker MP3 and you just drag it into the iTunes My Music section. Once it's there, locate it. And what you want to do is right click, select Get Info. And then from here, we're going to select Options. And what we're going to focus on is the start and stop times here. So we're going to select both of those boxes. And what you want to do when creating a ringtone is choose a section of the song that is about 30 seconds in length. So if you would like the beginning to 30 seconds, it would be 00 to 30 seconds. So 0, 3, 0, like so. But if you want it, say, a minute, then it would be a minute 30. So find the section of the song by listening to it and then put in the corresponding time within 30 seconds of it. So we'll just go ahead and use the start time. So zero, zero, and then simply zero, 30, and make sure they're both selected still and click OK. Now what you wanna do is right click on the song and select create AAC version and it'll go ahead and create that for you. And now you'll see we have that 30 second increment song or ringtone that we selected and set up. From here, we'll select the one that we're actually working with, right click, and what you would do from here, if you're using Windows, you would select Show in Windows Explorer, or if you're using a Mac, just select Show in Finder and then it'll show you where that file is located. So as you can see from here, we have three versions of it. What we're gonna focus on is this version, the M4A version, because that's the 30 second increment one we created. And if you're on a Windows computer, what you wanna do is select View and then select File Name Extension. And if you're on a Mac, just right click and select Get Info. And we're gonna rename this. So you wanna rename it something that separates it from the other song. So I'm just gonna say Stoker Dash Ringtone. And we also want to change this right here. What we want to do is change it from an M4A file to an M4R. So we'll go M4R. Now again, on the Windows PC, you're going to go ahead and select View and select File Name Extensions. And then from there, you want to change the extension in the same way you did with renaming the file. Once you've done that, hit Enter. Something will pop up, and whether it looks like this on the Mac or it looks a little bit different on Windows, basically what you want to do is use the new extension that you created, so the M4R. So make sure that you select that one. So now that we've done that, we'll just go ahead and close some of these other boxes here. We don't need them. Then what we want to do is select these three dots and select Tones. And you want to attempt to move that file, the new ringtone, over to that section. Now if it doesn't, as it hasn't right here, go back to this music section and we're going to delete this 30 second version. So we'll go ahead and select it. We'll click delete. We'll hit delete songs. We'll keep the file. And now it won't be in our music section. So we'll go back to tones. We'll open up our file again and we'll try to drag it over. And there you go, it's been able to drag over to our tone section. The next step involves connecting your iPhone to your computer. So you would need the charging cable, you need to connect that up to the computer, and then the other end to your phone. We'll go ahead and do that. Once you've connected your iOS device, you wanna click up here wherever it says iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, depending on what you're using. Click on that, it'll take you to the summary, and we'll select tones right here. Now what we want to do is sync our tones. We only have one here, so we can just select to sync all tones, or you can use selected tones, and we'll go ahead and select Stoker, because that's what I just added. We'll go ahead and select Apply. And once it's done that, it's now synced. We can disconnect our iPhone by clicking up here. And if everything was done correctly, when you open up your iOS device, tap on Settings, go down to Sounds, 
and then select ringtones, you should see your ringtone at the top and you can select it and it'll play. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave your comments in the comment box down below. I'll be happy to help you out and go through it with you. Also, share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like to use. And don't forget to follow me on all those social media sites as well. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you in the next one.